previously on. It's been too long since I picked a fight. Mm -hmm. Go therapy, Kate. I think Ada just willingly volunteered herself to be some sort of a defender because she is just standing there with purpose. With pure purpose and determination to keep My Sanctuary Hills. See, I knew it. She's determined. Wow, they dead ass dug up a grave. Took this person's body out. Like, I know this place is haunted. Be careful. You're gonna tell me people do this and expect not to have this place haunted? Huh, okay, so let me... Let me do this one more time, and if I don't get it, then I'll definitely go and look up what I need to do. <clears throat> so, I got that. The... Ooh, rail. <laughs> oh, Lord. Road. Maybe this is it. Damn it. Okay, I guess I'll just look up how to do this. How oh, railroad quest? Ah, I got it. So I'm looking up the walk through here because, you know, I would be the one to just not follow directions all the way. Don't judge me. Shut up. Okay. Okay, so I have to spell out railroad and each letter that I put on the red arrow I need to press. So, perfect. So let me just do this. All right. Uh huh. Oh, so it starts with R. I know. Okay, now I hear it. I hear it slowly decreasing, so. Oh, this is beautiful. I knew I was missing a step. It's been so long, though, since I've done this. You know what I mean? No, 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 the other way, the other way. Alright, wish me luck. Yeah. All right, we're going into the dark. Curry, let's go, hun. This should be good. Should be very good. Nice. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Okay. Who the hell? Uh, let me get closer here. Um, one foot closer. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Okay. Who told you how to contact us? A reporter, Piper. She got a lead on you guys. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. 
Wait, what? Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You've made waves. The railroad owes you a crate, hell, a truckload of Nuka Cola for what you did to Kellogg. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? I was just being nosy, but okay. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Yeah, well, I keep hearing about them, so at this point... Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property. As tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God. Tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Aren't synths just machines? The machines are tools. They started that way. But if it's impossible to tell a single difference... Damn, Curry didn't human, like that. They must be treated the same. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Yeah. Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Damn. Heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Damn. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Damn, there's not even any gray shades, either one or the other. I risk my life for people every day. Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. We'll do hmm. what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. Sounds like Whole Foods. There are, however, <laughs> other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Wow, that is wonderful. All peace and love from here. Nice. This is nice. <clears throat> Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So, tell me. Why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't yeah, know you don't know me. Trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game, but we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. Nope, right. I'm stubborn. I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around. Did hmm. my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Damn. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. 
But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride. Nice. Probably nothing new for someone like you. Yay! I, you know what? Danger is my middle name. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Bet. Alright, let's go to the old highway. Well, let me talk to her. She seems pretty cool. Hi. Saw some of you work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. What do you mean, for a for human? For a human? What do you mean? You were born in the wild human model 1.0. You ain't bad for that model. Not in the same league as us synths, but... Hey, not your fault. Wait, you're a synth? In the artificial flesh. And before you start with all the questions, the only thing I'll say about it is this. All those rumors out there are bullshit. I'm as real a girl as you'll ever meet. The only difference is, I bet your assembly instructions were a hell of a lot more fun. Huh. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. I'm interested. Awesome. I think you'll be a good fit. I know Dez said we don't got room. Talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Thank you, Glory. I appreciate that, fam. And uh, let me just talk to this prep <laughs> right here. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Drummer boy. All right, let me talk to Des. Desdemona, come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Damn, okay. All right, well, Deacon, I'll see you in the highway, so... I'll just bounce from here. That way we can start with the railroad mission. Ew. I need to leave anyways. I don't like this place. Damn, I just ran. Beautiful. Alright, so... To the highway we go. Okay, so let me just take a look at my map here. So how far away is this highway that Deacon is talking about? Great! Right over here. And the closest one is Lexington. Let's go. Okay, this is nice. What? <gasps> what? Yo, you saw that? Yeah, 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 let's go, Curry. I think I saw a spaceship. What? Hey, yo, a spaceship. Get out. Nah, that couldn't be it, could it? Hey, yo, this is insane. Where is that spaceship? Yo, that thing came out of nowhere. Get the hell out of here. Huh. Alright, so follow the smoke. So I'm just going to see exactly where it went. Huh. Don't see anything. Listen, that saucer just came out of nowhere, so I'm going to follow and see exactly what happened because that's just insane. A saucer. 
not. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Could have sworn. I could have sworn there was a saucer here somewhere. Or am I bugging? Screw the gunshot. I just want to know where the saucer is at. So, what? No, no saucer? Damn, that sucks. Or maybe he didn't really went there. I'm gonna retrace my steps. And I know there's gunshots, don't worry, I'm not gonna get shot because I'm minding my own business. Like a good person. Damn. I lost it. There's no saucer anywhere. I'm sad. Damn. I think that saucer is like an Easter egg that Fallout 4 has. I could have sworn I saw a saucer here, though. Like, where is it? Nah, nothing? Wow, I really lost a saucer. Damn, that's a shootout and a half. Nah, I'm not going into it. I'm good. Yeah, I totally lost that, that spaceship. Definitely not here, that's for sure. Oh, well, if I see it, I see it. Like, what do you want me to do, right? Too bad. That would have been a sight to see, you know? That would have been a good sight to see. Is that a scorpion I just saw? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, thanks to me. Yeah, just some caps, honey. Got milk, bitch? Got beef? No, but for real, I'm sad, because that saucer... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe if I looked at a higher angle... Nothing? Nothing. Truly. Honestly, nothing. I'm disappointed. Anyways, I'm just going to go back to the mission because at this point I need to meet Deacon, so whatever. Damn, I lost a possibility of not being able to find that alien ship. Which is sad. Which is sad. Can I jump? Thank you. Hmm. I'll find you one of these days. And when I do, I'm gonna get you. Damn. I don't know, it's like... I definitely want to find out what's in that spaceship, you know? So I am a bit disappointed. But whatever, I guess.
I do see smoke. But then again, I see other smoke, so... Let me let me not get my hopes up here. I'm I'm depressed. Come on. All right, I'm going to go and meet Deacon. I've been lollygagging for too long. All right, so it's the first railroad mission. So let's see what he wants me to do here. Am I meeting him at the house? No, no. Highway. Yep, highway it is. Damn, this is a long-ass trip. What the hell am I doing? Oh, what, that highway? Okay, that's cool. And, um... It's up there. Nice. Uh, don't bother me, please. Don't bother me, please. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Ow. What a bitch. Oh my god, the head flew off. Oh my god, I'm an animal. I'm an animal. Alright, so I have to meet you up there? How? How do I meet you? Oh, thank god. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? No. It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? That's awesome. It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. Damn it. Oh my god. We can never have anything, huh? What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. Hmm. Maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. Okay. So tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Right. All right. You're my lead. Damn. Got another rail sign right there. Where? Where? Where are we looking at? Huh. I'll find you, UFO. I'll find you. That's cute. Oh, 
Oh, this is a sign. We're probably close. Hmm. Probably. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord, bro. We Yo, that person's just dead. Okay. And Deacon stood there the whole time like an asshole, but whatever. What the hell's going on? Ooh, the stars are beautiful. Wow. Okay. Huh. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Okay, I'll trust you. All right. Hi. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Damn. Tell me what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.